get the recording going. All right, all right Laura, well, yours. Sorry, go ahead. All right, thank you. Um, is there any way that I could share my screen just so you guys have a visual? I won't be reading off of it, I promise. You asked for so much, my gosh. I know. <laughs> Hi, maintenance over here. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have the controls now. You got it, yep. We are good to go. All right, thank you everybody for joining on this snow day. Let me get in presentation mode. Um, we are going to talk about the new employee assistance program that you have and that uh, your wonderful team has put in place. And so I will be working with Chrissy, who is another program manager. Her and I are gonna be working together to make sure that you understand what the employee assistance program is, how it can help you, and then how maybe you can help your fellow employees too, um, because this is word of mouth and we you know, will have other promotions and hopefully when it's time, I'd be able to come in person <laughs> and I can't wait till COVID is not part of my vocabulary. Um, but we're gonna talk about the employee assistance program. Um, now you might've had one in the past or you might've heard of us, either way, I'm gonna give you a deeper dive into BHS's EAP because it's a little bit different than some people's. Um, we are a standalone employee assistance program company. So what that means is we will be holding your hand throughout the process if you, when you call in or if you need help or your household members. So some things are, um, we are confidential. So this is for all your employees and household members. So what the household members means is just anybody under your roof. Physically, it could be spouse, roommates, um, children 16 years or older can call in, 16 years or younger, just need an adult to call in with them. It could be somebody, if they were staying with you uh, during quarantine, that could also be a possibility. Uh, but it's confidential in the sense that all you have to say when you call in is, I work for SHIP. And then all your household members say is, I live with somebody who works for SHIP. So that's the confidentiality piece. We're not going to ask for any proof of insurance. We're not going to ask proof of address. Or if it's a household member, they're not going to ask uh, the household member for proof that they live with the employee. It's just if they know to call in, they need help and we want to help them. Um, college kids, I know that's a little outside of my um, outside of my rules, but college kids can also use this because I remember when I was in college, I needed every benefit I could get. So it's confidential. It's also free to you and your household members. Again, this is put in place by SHIP and they are going, they're just making sure that you're taking care of yourselves. Um, and with COVID and the pandemic, it is just a huge change. Um, I can't believe it's gonna be almost a year now, but this is just something that we need to talk more about as mental health. Um, one in five of us have a mental illness, but five out of five of us have mental health. Sometimes a lot of people don't want to admit they have mental health because then they're talking, they think it's illness or they think there's something wrong with them when we all have it. It's just an obvious thing. Um, but some people need to be told that out loud. So New Year just happened. Everybody's talking about New Year, New Me, what gym, or if they got a Peloton for Christmas. Um, you know, talking about that, but let's talk about how this pandemic has really you know, made you struggle, or maybe you realized, hey, I'm not feeling that great, call the EAP. Even if you're not, everybody thinks EAP is crisis mode, and we don't want them to think that. We want them to think that they call in for anything. If they had a stressful day, so right now, if you are stressed at all, you can call the EAP and get in the moment support with our care coordinators, and I'll tell you more about that later, but the in the moment support piece is you can call in and just have a venting session with an objective third party who happens to be a master's level clinician. So they're going to help you through that process. We noticed that in the pandemic, starting from March, that our in the moment support calls, um, which again, we can just say venting session if you'd like, increased, uh, the length of the call increased by 33% because people were just like, I need that human to human interaction. Um, friends and family are always great, but sometimes they're a little too close to the situation. So again, call an objective third party and that may be all that you need. So those are the three main things that I want you to understand um, that confidentiality is one of the things that we keep as a top priority because we don't want you to think that this is a tracking system at all. Um, here are some common reasons to contact your EAP. So I want you to take a look at this list. Find one or two that you're like, you know what, I could really call in or think of somebody that you love and you've been trying to help them through maybe a tough time. You know, what can they call in for? Now on the right hand of the screen, obviously there's the word stress and that's a very big umbrella, but that is then can lead to 
some different things. We can get down to the groundwork of it. So if somebody calls in and says they're stressed, our care coordinators are going to do an intake, get to know you, get to know your story and really start at the root and go up the tree to really figure out what's, you know, what is causing the roots and the tree to fail and growing. Um, that's my analogy I use all the time and a metro. So we're going to have another analogy later. <laughs> So what happens when you call BHS? Um, my type, type A brain needs to know what's going to happen before it happens. Not the best thing, because I can't control everything. But when you call in, you are, you can, I shouldn't say call in, um, you can, um, you can call or text. You can use our online form, which I'll show you where that is on the portal. Um, you can live chat us, that's on the portal as well. And you can also download the BHS mobile app. I'm gonna have your open enrollment slide. You don't have to sign up or do anything. It's just you know taking a screenshot or downloading the app. Um, and you can contact us on all of those platforms. Next, you're going to talk to that dedicated master's level clinician that we call care coordinators. Um, we all call this at BHS internally our Lakita slide because Lakita is one of our care coordinators and she's wonderful. So you might even talk to her. Um, so she's our wonderful model for our Lakita slide. Um, so there's a process underneath. So that in the moment support that I've mentioned. Next, they're going to give you a needs assessment, just getting to know your story. That's all it really means. And then they're going to make clinical recommendations. Those recommendations are meant to for you and for um, it's been for you and the care coordinator to work together to create a plan that uniquely works for your situation. And then they'll put that personalized action plan into play and do all the appointment facilitation and scheduling. So think, I'm gonna give the example of, this is a very basic one, but if you're dealing with depression or a stressful situation or grief of a loved one, the last thing that you wanna do is go through your health insurance list that they give you and call all these um, providers and whether it be a therapist, whether it be um, a grief counselor, budget counselor, financial, legal, whatever it might be. That's the last thing you want to do. And the, we did a study in the Midwest. We, it was in the Midwest. And we did a study where we called 100 places on a certain health insurance plan. We called 100 of the, the list. There were um, 20 of them that were out of service. There was 30 that no, did was not accepting patients. And then there were a few that didn't accept our plan. Um, we used just our insurance plan as, as employees. And then there were some that couldn't get you in for three or four weeks or even longer. So that's what our care coordinators are going to do. They're going to hold your hand, make sure you get in within three business days. And since we're in a virtual world, we have HIPAA compliant video counseling as well. So we can, you can do it from the comfort of your home, own, own home. Um, I'm a big advocate of that. I have no, I am pretty much an open book, but I have used the virtual counseling, just a health uh, counselor. And it is so, I used to drive there and have to find parking in the city. And I'm like, why didn't I do this from the start? Like I saved so much more time. Um, so the virtual world is, is very good for that. And then from that point, no matter if you go through the sessions that you have with, um, if it's a short-term issue, and I'm gonna explain more of that, but if it's a short-term issue or long-term, the care coordinator, if it's Lakita, they will stay with you throughout the life of that case. So it could be um, two weeks, it could be two years, it could be five months, it, you know, whatever. The care coordinator is going to be there with you, checking in on you, and they're always going to be able to give you in-the-moment support whenever you need it. So they're always going to be there for you. So I did mention some things that they can connect you to, which is local EAP counselors that I mentioned, benefits navigation uh, through your health insurance network. Um, and I'm going to get into some of that next and how that works. So this is what I call the Metro map. This is my Metro map that I use because um, it helps understand, um, helps people understand a little bit better um, in what is short term, what is long term, what, how does it go to work life services. So I mentioned the word unique. So you are going to call in and we are all have unique situations and nothing most of them, I can't say 100%, but 99.9%, .9%, they're always going to be different in some way, shape, or form. So everybody starts um, off on the navy blue line. When I go to DC, I still make my brother do the metro map because I can't actually, you know, I'm like, you know what, that's your job. Um, but on this metro map, I can navigate you. So everybody starts off the navy blue line. They resolve your need within the initial call. So that is just take that out of there. That's in the moment support. It could have been 30 minutes, could have been an hour, uh, but that's all that you needed. So you might get off at the Navy blue line. You take it from beginning to end, you're done. Next, you can go from the Navy blue line to the yellow line. 
So the yellow line is the short-term issues, which can be resolved within the available EAP sessions. Um, so I believe there is five of them. I have to double check um, on those ones, but it, they're gonna assess your need as short-term issue. And that's why they're a clinician. They're going to help you um, assess that. So short-term items could be grief counseling, um, stress in a relationship. It could be um, uh, budget counseling. It could be, it could be a whole uh, slew of things. So that's the short-term issues. And that doesn't go to your health insurance. Um, they are, the care coordinator will stay with you throughout the life of that case. And just so you know that you can call in, there's no limit on how many times you can call in to us. Because if you need help, you could call in one week about grief. The next week you can call about just, I'm stressed this week, something's going on, I need some help. So there's no limit on how many times you can call us. Please call us and as many times as you would like. So sometimes people will get off at that yellow line. Next, they'll go from the, they could go from the navy blue line to the light blue line. The light blue line is the long-term care and we will assist in connecting you to either community resources because we know that not all household members have health insurance. Because if it's a roommate, a friend, whatever, um, we can find community resources for them. Um, or And then for through your health insurance, it can be a treatment provider. So this comes into play um, when it's assessed as long-term. So that could mean, um, since we're talk therapy, we cannot diagnose or prescribe. So we have to get you to a medical treatment provider um, say it is you've called in a couple of times and you're like, it's, it's just not getting better with the short term. It might go on to maybe it's anxiety and um, a psychiatrist may help or um, uh, your, you know, your primary care doctor, or maybe you don't have a primary care doctor. We can help you find that. So long term is something that needs um, treatment through your health insurance plan um, for diagnosis or, or long term situations. So some people might get off at that light blue line. And then you go from the navy blue line to the pink line. This is the one that doesn't happen very often, but since we are 24 seven, 365, there are those moments where you might've called in the middle of the night um, and it was maybe it was a stressful situation. The care coordinator might say, hey, let's create a plan tomorrow after everybody gets some rest and we'll do a, um, we'll get the course of action then. That again, that one's rare but that could happen. And then you would go from the pink line to either the yellow, light blue, or gray. And then the fight, last but not least, you have resolve your need within the initial call, which is navy blue, and then you get connected to your work life services. Those are what I'm gonna get into next. And you have legal, financial, childcare, and elder care. So let's get into those. And if you do have questions, feel free to put it in the chat as I will um, check those at the end, or you could just wait till the end and we can all just speak. Let's see. All right, so our work life services. First one, child, air, child care is for any types of things. So if you're looking into adoption, um, you need special needs care for um, your daughter or your son, um, emergency backup care, that's a big one. I know we're in a virtual world now, but say um, when we go quote unquote back, whatever back to normal means, <laughs> and you need emergency backup care because the snow came and you have a snow day, but you still have to work from home, where can my kids go? They're off from school. I don't know where to take them. Or you have to go into the office and they're home. Um, you can set up emergency backup care. I always recommend doing this ahead of time. Um, so that's all, it's already in place for you. But nannies, summer camps, um, those these are great. So what you call, you just call us and say, hey, this is what I'm looking for. We'll find the resource for you. I call it very, very high level Googling because obviously you can Google all these things. Sure, go for it. Um, the only problem with that is they're not vetted providers. BHS vets all these providers that we um, connect you to. So we know that they're safe, they're reliable, and they can get you in. Um, and as for this, this is a little bit different than the EAP. I wish that I could fit care, um, pay for everybody's kids' daycares, all their summer camps, all their nanny services. But until I win the lottery, that's something that you guys will have to pay. But once I win the lottery, I'll let you know and I'll pay for it for you. Um, so with these, just remember that you're going to get a packet of information and all you have to do is essentially put that in place, confirm it. Next is elder care, meals on wheels, cleaning and repair, in-home care. I know we're trying to stay away from elderly parents, neighbors, or friends. Um, so this could be great for them in transportation services to and from doctor's appointments, um, in-home care if they can't get out in the snow or just want to be safe with uh, corona. Um, retirement communities, if you're looking to, um, you know, get somebody in assisted living, 
um, or any other type of living, you can call in and we can give you some recommend recommendations on that as well. Next is legal services. So legal is a little bit different than the rest of them. So legal is you get connected to an attorney or lawyer with whatever your need is um, in your area and you will get a 30 minute legal consultation with them. Um, and if you retain that attorney, you get 25% off their hourly rate. So if you've ever seen an attorney bill, this is a good debt to put in it. Um, and again, we have all vetted lawyers and attorneys that we connect you to. The number one reason we get calls is for estate planning, will preparation, um, real, uh, not real estate concerns, landlord and tenant disputes. So if you're renting, um, that's, a, that's one. And then domestic and family matters. Those are the top three that we get, but nothing is too small. Nothing is too big. So if you ran a red light, got a ticket and you want to fight it because that wasn't you, that's, that's totally fine. You can fight that as well. So these are your, that's your legal um, work life service. Next is your financial. This is the last one. Um, it is for budgeting, debt consolidation, debt management. I always use the spectrum of fresh out of college or high school, and you just don't know what to do with debt or how to manage your money yet. And then all the way to getting ready for retirement. Even though for myself, I'm very far away from retirement, but I can still start planning for that with my 401k. How do I do this? How do I understand how all that works? Um, you can start now. Um, if you want to figure out college funding for your kids, that's another one you can call in for. So financial consultation is a great resource. So before we get into the information in the portal, I just want you to remember confidential. This is not a tracking system. You are. Um, Nobody is going to know that you called in unless you want to tell them that you used it in word of mouth and you had a great experience. That is all up to you. We do not do that. It's all under HIPAA, just like you would at any doctor's appointment. It's free and it's convenient. So it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. All right, so you can call in anytime. And here's your open enrollment. Here you go, this is it. You can take a screenshot. You can put it in your phone as a contact. I highly recommend that. Um, even if you think it's not for you, it's, something that you don't realize you need until it's the very moment that you need it. Um, so you put that in your contact. So in the, if it's the middle of night or late or you're at work and you can't find the email or you can't find the orientation, it's already in your contact. Um, so you also have a portal. The portal has half a million different resources and it's not all on mental health. There's some recipes. They're all have to do with how we help our mental health, but there's recipes, there is um, resiliency journeys, there's trainings on how to become a better leader, how to manage the work-life balance. Um, so the portal is portal.bhsonline.com and everybody has the same username to get in. So it's MDNP and this is for confidentiality reasons too, because once you get in, you can go on some certain tiles and see information, but if you wanna do trainings, then you'll create your own username and password. Um, I'll also be putting this up at the end as well. This is also the app. It's available in the Google Play or App Store. It's one touch dialing. Um, if you wanted to download it now, you just go in your App Store and type BHS APP. It's all one word. And up in the right hand corner, you see the two little yellow arrows that make a star. That's going to be the icon that you see. But this is something that you can be in the grocery store and see the orange recipes at the bottom of this. You can click that you know, got, get the ingredients, go home and cook it. There's some great um, resources there. You can watch over 750 videos. So if you're traveling or you have time to watch these, you can do this right on your app. So here's what the portal is going to look like. We have featured articles, news alert bars at the top. Um, we have all your program information. So where you see the pink tile with program information, there is a COVID tile, which I'm going to show you too. Um, but this there's just one right next to it and I can't wait till it's deleted. Um, but there's locators for your child in elder care. So if you don't want to call in and you just want to see what's in your area, you can go ahead and, and use the locators as well. Cafe series webinars, these go out monthly and you can sign up for the newsletter. So if you look right here, right under featured articles, there's a link right here. You can sign up to receive the monthly newsletters and they're just on, there's a topic each month. Um, February is now de-stressing. Um, how to do that, there's always a webinar that goes with it. But if you miss that email, you can always go to the cafe series webinar down here and you can um, find all the archived ones. So to get a little bit into the locator so you can see what you're working with, you can just click on what you need. So there's elder care resources, educational services, childcare, um, adoption agencies. So you click on what you need. 
And then you just simply put in your city, state, and zip code, and then that'll pop up for you. Um, if there's nothing in your area, you're looking for something in a more um, rural area, just give us a call because we can then, we have a provider relations team that can vet people for you if you don't find what you're looking for. Uh, That's why I always recommend calling in, but I'm an internet person. I like going in and just plugging things in on my own. Next is your training center. This is something that you can just go and do self-paced. Communication, professional development, work life services, child care. You can do as many trainings as you would like and you get certificates at the end. So you get a little participation trophy um, for doing the trainings on your own. So there's tools, action plans, um, quizzes you can do and you can't just skip through it to get the certificate. So if you're just looking for the certificate, don't even, don't even bother. Um, but here's an example of the social intelligence. Um, you can see the outline of it. You just go through that. I love this particular one. Um, I'm so fascinated in having social, you know, how different people work and understanding that my way is not always right, even though I like to think that. Um, learning about social intelligence. So this is just particular one of my favorite ones, uh, but you can check out, there's so many more. And then last but not least, you have your uh, portal that's available in Spanish. So in the right-hand corner, you can click En Español and it'll translate all that for you. And then our COVID-19 Resource Center. This is going to be the first tile that you see on the homepage of the portal, and you can find breaking news on COVID. Um, of course, CDC guidelines are in there, but there's also um, children, how children are struggling with this. This could be trauma when they get older. So how do we address that now? Um, develop resiliency, resiliency during this time, financial stress. Um, there's tip sheets, articles, courses, webinars that you can watch. Um, and you can just prepare your family for daily challenges. This is a tough time and we are, we don't know when it's going to be over. We hope it's soon. Uh, but this is something where we are now looking at the after effects of it. So I want you to always just keep that in mind that this will be updated as it as needed. So it could be weekly, it could be daily, um, but go here for your one-stop shop, everything on you know mental health um, with the pandemic. So I know there is no enrollment and you don't have to sign up or do anything, it's already in place for you. Um, but I would ask, I, can, I won't be able to check because I don't even get that information, but if you guys can just go on the portal, check it out, sign in, sign up for the newsletter if you'd like that. I know you probably already get a lot of emails, but um, just go on there and check it out, see what it's all about. Um, but I'm going to leave this up here on the screen, but I want to open it up for any questions that you might have. Hi, uh, quick question. So you said there's no signing up, we can just go in how so and so that would be all all of our usernames yes correct so that's part we create our own account within there mm -hmm. so there's okay. certain tiles yeah there's certain tiles that you don't need an, a, a specific account for um like the program information the COVID information but if you're doing something like trainings or watching a webinar and it's self-paced you will create your own username and password Okay, and same applies to the example that you gave earlier. If we wanted to look for a therapy resource, we would yes. type in like our mm -hmm. health, we would input our healthcare information. No, so that would be that already actually, integrated in there. So you guys, so you would tell um, the care coordinator, we work with all different kinds of insurance, health insurance plans. So we don't have that information up front because household members. It would take forever for us to get all your household members. And if you have somebody just visiting you, we don't want you to think that you have to call us and be like, okay, this is the household members in case they use the EAP. Um, it does ma not matter what health insurance network you do. When you call into the employee assistance program and talk with the care coordinator, you'll give them that information right there. We have a system right. that is, is crazy on resources and how it works. I'm still fascinated by it. Um, you'd think a millennial wouldn't be fascinated by the technology, but I am. Um, so this is something that they will walk you through step-by-step. Step. As far as the portal, this is your information to get in. If you wanna do a training, you'll create a username and password. Any other questions? Good question, Javi, thank you. Yeah, and just to remind everybody, the reason that we, uh... Well, why we found BHS for one um, is uh, through our relationship as, as a member of the Maryland Nonprofit Association. Mm -hmm. So um, that's why you see the MD, MP, that's the membership. Yeah. Okay. Marilyn, did you have a question? I did. Um, so one thing that occurs to me is I'm 
already in therapy. I have mm -hmm. a therapist that I'm working with on a regular basis. That's wonderful. And um, I would imagine it might be a little tricky to jump back and forth. Mm -hmm. um, and so I just wonder whether if I need some support at any time, should I would should I keep that to any work related stressors and then use my my therapist for my personal things so I'm not mixing and matching and getting confused. Yeah, no, I totally understand. So my recommendation with that is always, always stay with the person that you're with. That's considered long-term. So we would just be doing that anyway for those situations, but keep that, keep talking to them how you've been talking to them. Do not change anything up on that part. What you can use the employee assistance program for is anything outside of that. It doesn't have to be necessarily work, but if there's something that your therapist, you're like, you know what, I could just use in the moment support and I don't have my therapist, I'm not, I'm not scheduled with them for quite some time. Um, or just having questions about, hey, I need a resource um, or if grief counseling is something. So there's always different types. Um, I personally have a therapist, but I need, I might need somebody separate for relationship counseling or grief counseling or um, substance abuse in the family or learning about mental illnesses. So there could be a slew of different things, but I do always, always recommend because it's long-term stay with your therapist. And if it's working, that is absolutely wonderful. Kudos to you. Um, but if it isn't, call us and we can help you. Okay. Okay. Very, very good question. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else? All right. You'll probably be hearing from myself, Chrissy as well. Um, I, we will always be in touch um, with Ed. So I can, I'll be giving promotion um, emails and go ahead and sign up for the newsletter, but we're always in touch. We want to make sure that you guys are getting the resources that you need. Um, but if you need anything, go to your HR, uh, go to Ed and we can, we can help you with that and we can get you connected. No problem. Great. Thank Laura, you. thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you, you too. Thank Bye. You. Bye. Bye guys. Bye. Yeah.